One of the most impressive ornithologist presentations you can see involves visual art, bird conservation, food sustainability, and peace in the Middle East. For many years, these men traveled around the planet, proposing a new diplomatic vision to inspire the world. During this presentation at the IOC 218, an art book about the Dead Sea was launched. This fantastic collection of paintings is the work of a group of talented artists from around the world. The book brings attention to the ecological problems of the Dead Sea. The objective is to save this jewel of the Middle East from drying up. Dr. UC Leshem likes to talk about migrations. Because of its unique location, the Middle East acts as a funnel for many birds who are traveling from Europe to Africa. We decided to put 120 radios on the back of white stalks from Germany. All of them are moving through Israel up to South Africa. So the idea was to learn where are the most important stopover sites, where they are stopping to learn how to protect them. The barn owl is a killing machine, but the siblings can negotiate who is going to devour the next prey and avoid fighting for food. As human, we should be inspired. We want to promote environmentally friendly agriculture. And for this goal, we favor barn owls. We fix boxes in the fields. Barn owls go in these boxes to breed, and they do the job of the poison. They eat the rodents. One family of barn owls eat between 2,000 and 6,000 rodents per year. It's not only an important environmental project to protect the birds, it's also getting people together, the farmers and the children and the conservationists, and suddenly when they walk together in the field, we are becoming friends. Some of the seminars we were even dancing together. So we have now hundreds of farmers from Palestine, from Jordan and from Israel who are meeting each other, and I think it's a big story of success. We love everybody, we want that peace, we want everybody together to be happy. The reputation of neutrality of Swiss people, like Alexandre Roulin, already opened new doors to promote peace and biodiversity. And we have to use it for the good of the people. In the Middle East, you know, the conflict is going on, unfortunately. And the peace is coming now, not with the dove and the olive branch, but with the barn owl. The barn owl is doing the peace. So we are not naive, we work together. I believe in peace. I think that if we have peace, we can do better science, a better education, and everything is better. But the politicians are failing. General Mansour Abu Rashid is a man with a fantastic destiny. He went from war to peace and long-lasting friendships because of ecological projects. We asked many uh, professors and experts from North Africa to join us. They join us with people coming from Turkey, from Greece, from Italy, uh, also from Palestine, Israel and Switzerland. This ecological and diplomatic project is spreading around the world and more scientists, farmers, students, ecologists and politicians are discovering the virtue of the barn owl as a symbol of peace and biodiversity. <laughs>